doing? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Sure. Let's do it. All right. There she is. how far it comes back and these seats dude thank you so much this is freaking awesome so we did put a new cannon intake on it so it sounds a lot healthier if you want to fire it up oh yeah And we just unveiled the Phoenix. Pretty rad build. Um, just sitting here, kicking back, having a couple drinks with a couple friends. Really excited, we just went on this amazing trip up at Fordyce. We did have some breaks. It wasn't on purpose. But nothing on the new rigs. We have someone here that we need to introduce. Mark Eller. Hey. But this is kind of like the first time you've ever had a build done that you knew nothing about what was gonna happen That's with right, it. Yeah. And you already owned the vehicle. Uh -huh. There was a slight little issue yeah. where it kind of went over. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You all right? Yeah, buddy. They got me flipped over super quick. It wasn't like I was sitting there for 10 minutes. Like, it yeah. was, I was back over fast. What was your first impression of it? Like, like what did you think? So, as soon as I saw it, I was completely floored, you know. I, we had talked about what we were going to do, and it was going to be more like just a fixing thing and not, you know, some crazy over the top, but I was not expecting that. The 3.0s, those things are massive. There's been issues with my other builds, some big issues, you know. But yeah, I've never been able to go out and take a build as soon as you take it on the trail and use it. I was a little nervous, you know, because I, you know, never had a V8 G yeah. before, especially two door, you know. So I, I wasn't, I wasn't sure what I was going to be in, in store for. So we pushed that thing this week. You know? This is Ford Ice. This is like the hardest trail in the Sierra Nevada. It's up near the Rubicon, about an hour and a half north of Sacramento. Um, it has a bunch of wind chills on it. It has like 13 water crossings with like three major river crossings. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's just like, it's, it's like the trail. I looked it up when I heard we're going. It's a pretty gnarly trail, mainly meant for Jeeps and crawlers. Uh, not really IFS friendly. It's gnarly. It's super gnarly. I was sweating a little with this one because I always ram my steering into everything. So I was a little worried about it, but it looked gnarly.
Everyone's all about that open Jeep, top life. And I'm over here with an enclosed cab and, and a bed full of their stuff. And he breaks a rear axle shaft. Yeah. Passenger side. Luckily, we just put the Yukon Ziplocker in there, so he still has like, he's three wheeling it, uh -huh. right? Now Rex does have like every single person's food, luggage, everything camera. Everything in there. He had everything Pack. I wanted to keep dry in his <laughs> That's why I didn't complain about pulling them out. I was like, I know I need my shit in time. <laughs> <laughs> get there. When you break a rear axle shaft, and you leave the broken parts in there, what ends up happening is it causes it a lot more damage to it Yeah. than if you just try to get it out. Yeah. All right. Oh, the Skosh mag takes that thing apart, takes the four little magnets, puts it on a... What the end of a CVT tent pole. And he tapes it all up. And he's, I have a picture of you like concentrating, like you have the flashlight and you're in there and that little bugger just came out. Way. Way Scosh, yeah. baby. That sucker is super strong. And then we put the mount back together yeah, and gave it back to Mark. Yeah, it's in my Jeep now. On the heavier stuff, I did have to get strapped. Luckily, Mark was there to help me out. Without the straps, I probably would have been dead in the water. But lucky for him and his V8, he's able to pull me through, no problem. Okay, I'm not carrying all these straps at once. It's way too heavy. <laughs> First yeah. couple of water crossings that we did, they were kind of shallow. And then we got to one, you went in, and it's like covering most of your, it's like almost over the top of your tire. And I was like, what's Steve <laughs> and Tyler are gonna do? Because they had that trailer, yeah. that little rickety trailer uh -huh. that they built, that just, they wrapped It was just doing this the entire time. Everything. We're good. He can wheel the piss out of that thing. Yeah, with, yeah. with a trailer, oh, with a did. trailer. Sash support, we've made it to the first river cross, real river crossing. Rex is still stuck, we don't know where he's at. We got the two leaders here so far. Uh, they're doing great. We got a couple leaders in the back, but. going why
we're, we're all, almost to our like where we're thinking our camp spot is gonna be. Exactly, and we're all like trying to get through trees, and I'm like, oh my goodness, this feels like the East Coast again. I got yeah. this. Was like, there's no way you're getting through there, and I'm like, yeah, I will. <laughs> and I look over to the right, and you're like balls deep in it. Wheels are going, the tires are going, mud's flying everywhere, and you are not going any further forward. You're yes. just kind of like. The suction of the mud just pulled me in, yeah. and I wasn't going anywhere. No. We got all of our stuff set up. It gets dark. We're cooking carne asada. Not it's just dark, mosquitoes feasting on our bodies. Wait, they were like, they were I could not huge. smack them fast enough. Thank God Casey brought bug spray. Cause I would have left right then. Sorry about your luck, Rex. It's only six <laughs> miles out. I'm gonna move back to the truck. So let's talk about um, what you set up to sleep in. set up a tent. That little guy right there? Yeah. That's how you do it. This over here. <laughs> well, we'll get there. All right, because there's stuff in already in the tent. Yes. There you go, right there. I think we're on to something it. here. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. High five. Yep. It would have worked. It would have worked if air mattresses don't leak out air. Yeah, so Lila, I met for the first time on this trip, literally slept on her face. It was just like a soak. It was, I mean, we got to know each other. I opened the tent and I was like, damn, it's raining hard out there. Open the tent, I have a video of it. Marble size hell. I'm like, hell no. We left the camp. Yes. And, and we were like right at the bottom of winch. I mean, one. we drove for about 40 seconds. Yep and came to And then you tried to move forward and your tire was not turning and I was like, oh, Pandra, no heat for you. Suck it up, <laughs> enjoy the rain. Save our gas. Let's just watch what happened. So. It's really hard to tell. There's a lot of money there. 
Yeah, go ahead and turn around. Let me see. So we pulled the entire hub and everything apart, and we realized between the hub mm -hmm. and the seal, yep. we sheared it. We just sheared it off, and it's and it's so weird. It's such a weird break. So what ended up happening was the outer stuff broke, and it broke in such a clean way that it didn't create any problems for me. Yeah. It just turned me into a three wheeler. The weather started getting rough. <laughs> our tiny Jeep was tossed. <laughs> if not for the courage of a fearless crew, the gridlock would be lost. <laughs> the gridlock would be lost. Guess. <laughs> the spacer's the first thing goes on. Is it really? Yeah. Anyone knows. <laughs> I came here to wheel and put this rig to the test because the rear suspension's all been like reconfigured, and uh, like this is the perfect obstacle to like give it a go on and oh. the steer as well. What was awesome was like the high steer. I really thought I was. I really thought I was going to be like, oh, here we go again. It's another Johnson Valley. I'm going to be like. Boing and going back and boing going Smiling. back. Yeah. It just went over and it was cool. It was so cool. I was, what I was stoked about was when I watched you pull up on these rocks. Yeah. And where you normally will go, I just watched it. I'm like, that's where she would sit. You know, like you just rolled through it. And I was yeah. like, yeah. Yes. Like it worked. Yeah. Like you know. Yeah. Because you've been with me when I've been stuck in situations. But that was, that was pretty rad. And then we got up to the top part.
started getting into like gnarly rock trails. Ooh, yeah. And there it was, was like- nothing smooth about it. find the early route out because yeah. I'm three willing Rex is three willing yeah right the rain is getting boring. worse yeah everyone's miserable time. Then we hit the logging road and that's when like everyone went into like too high or we just kind of bombed it through mud puddles. That we was didn't so much fun. Care. We did not care. The Phoenix made it through. No, I gotta I, I gotta say I'm really I'm like, I'm so stoked that neither one of your rigs yeah. had any issues. Like, no issues. It was crazy because neither one of these had a shakedown. Made it through. All right, well look, I really do appreciate you coming out here, yes. helping all your help. I hope you enjoy your new build. I appreciate it everything, everything you ever wanted. And I'm really stoked that you got everything that you wanted. Yeah. I'm everything ready. changed out and yeah. everything is operating the way you want. Oh yeah, we're ready. Phoenix JK, Mischief Maker, great builds, great team to be a part of. As well, you have Gridlock behind me. So catch you guys on the next one. Probably somewhere on the East Coast. See you guys soon.